Hullabaloo and howdy do. I'm Sanctor and welcome back to Third Age Total War Dwarves of Erebor campaign. In the previous episode, we defended Rubar again. In this episode, we're going to besiege Karasant. So, without further ado, let's continue. And also, we're at end turn, so let's end the turn. Oh, and also, it is the one hour special because it is episode 35. For the Airborne campaign, oh, perfect. I've given up on, like, having a certain amount of likes before, like, every five episodes in an uh, hour-long special. Just because I want to get this campaign going so I can move on to the next one. It is episode 35, after all. But uh, as for Mordor and any other campaign, I will be continuing to do the whole get X amount of likes and stuff happens all right ooh. oh I thought that was gonna be like an actual bridge that would have been great this is an interesting looking fortress I've never fought in one of these before ooh is this like an actual gate no that's just a choke point all right well I have a good feeling about this one ladies and gentlemen all right how many Okay, they have quite a few horsemen. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave. Oh, let's get everybody like over here. I want like you guys. Actually, can I do both? Spikes there. Well, stakes, not spikes. Guess there's not too much of a difference. Oh, can't do it there. Perhaps I should back up a little bit. We need to give... We need to give them a little bit of room to charge. Alright, so that's good right there. And I can have them, like, go there and there or something like that. So I want somebody, like, over here. No, oh, but they're gonna have towers. That's fine. I'll just leave a couple people up here to help defend, perhaps. What about over here? Because when they get in, I can just shoot them right there. It's probably a better idea. Oh, that's cool. Is that a fountain? I mean, it looks like a lot of explosions, but I didn't know there was a fountain in this game. That's awesome. All right, so we need one group defending the gate, another group defending, like, this area over here. I think I'll have, like, the generals defend this area. I think I... Definitely want you guys defending the gate. Well, that looks just ugly. That's better. How about you shut up? How about you also shut up? Hmm. And they are not going where I want them to go. You might work. Yeah. I guess the formations don't matter all that much. Oh, there's more generals? Oh, yeah. But yeah, the formation doesn't really matter all that much. Because I'm just going to, like, send them all into charge anyway. Oh, wait. Uh, I need you guys. All right, pause it. I want you. Going there is just such a bad idea. All right, go on, like, these walls over here. You there. 
you there. All right. Panic attack, panic attack. Oh, they're doing the thing. Stop doing the thing. Just stop doing the thing. Oh, I'm never playing against Rune again just because I keep doing this stuff. Where'd the ladders go? No. Those cheeky bastards. Yeah, stop shooting because you're not really going to get any kills. I mean, you guys can actually stop because I don't know what these guys are up to. Or maybe just go but don't run. Great, they're just going to keep shooting their arrows. They're probably never going to charge because I forgot. Rune does that. Let's speed it up a bit. Oh, is this going to be where they do it? Also, why are they not moving? Or do they have to like... Okay, there they go. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't need all of them. Yeah, in fact, I'm just I'm gonna keep you behind. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Okay, they're moving. Good. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, interesting. I'm just going to wait for them to use up all their arrows, and they're gonna get. A number of kills on me if they do that. There. Well, that plan didn't work out for them. Well, at least it won't. Charge out or not to charge out? That's the question. What if I send just one unit of miners as bait? Yeah, I'll just send one out as bait. Hopefully they'll take it. Because my whole defense hinges on the plan that they come in here and attack. So if the gate is open... Alright, I'll sacrifice one thing of miners to try to get some kills or something. Oh, that was a good volley. Didn't really do much, but... Hey. Well, it's only three chariots. Oh, yeah. If I can kill the chariots, then I'll be even better. Okay. They're moving. Looks like these guys... Okay, no. They're just getting into formation. Alright. Uh, Tactical retreat. Oh, hey. No, you can't do that. You can't break through everything. Oh, don't, don't glitch on me, please. Don't glitch me, bro. Wow. All Come on, guys. Get in there. All right, well. They're not doing much. 
And the chariots are dead, it looks like. I never grouped these guys up, didn't I? Oh boy. Oh yeah, I should probably group <laughs> group them up as well. The enemy have taken them. All right, well, that'll be enough. Yeah, now they should start dying. Oh, come on, yes, charge through. Right into the pikes. Come on. You know you wanna. Right into the pikes and right into the spears. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, here they come. Not dropping as quickly as I'd hoped, but... Alright. Now it's time to... Let the archers loose. Alright, yeah, now they can reach. Oh, good. And it's like a general general, so that's even better. Excellent. Uh, except for you. Just kind of like go right there. Forty-eight percent of them are killed. And they're running away, they're running away. They are dropping like flies. Good job, miners. Alright, well. They're not gonna get many kills with everyone grouped in like that. I might as well kill them. Nah. It's only one. Alright, let's speed it up a bit. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't know there'd be chariots. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Oh god, that hurts a lot. Oh yeah, that hurts. A lot. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, this was going to be a cakewalk until the chariots got involved. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let's just get everyone, like, back in here. Let's regroup. Oh, we took a beating off of that. Yeah, that's, that, that is really disappointing, let me tell you. To go from, what was it, 30 or less per, no, it had to be less than 30. It was like 25 or something like that to 43% just from one charge. It's very disappointing. But, good news is, one of their big armies is going to be destroyed, and I have reserves. Oh, that's good. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours.
Are they running away or what's their deal? They're trying to retreat. Tactical retreat and it's just not working out the way they hoped. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. What are you doing? Capture them. You're not you're never gonna capture them. Oh wow. Eight, eight, and ten. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully none of them died in actuality. Because there's this weird thing where if one of our generals dies, as long as it's not like the head general, it doesn't tell us. It'll give us plenty of death messages about enemy generals, especially ones like we don't care about. But when it comes to our generals, no. Can't be bothered. All right, they all survived. Excellent. All right, well, now that the northern area seems to be secure, except for that guy down there, it's time to move on and keep them close together. All right, so over here, do I wait for them? I don't think I can wait for them. My king. I march. We march no Yeah, don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Did they just say that my relations with Kand is good? I know I said I didn't care, but I actually kind of care. Not a whole lot, but enough to make me curious. Oh yeah, I have a spy. Something to hey, Peter Dinklage. Okay. Well, I think I'm leaving this army here. That way, if they attack Rubar, I can defend it. Uh, besiege Karasant. There's no way they get a garrison, right? Oh, they might. Karasant was the capital of... Uh, what you might call it? Northman. Yeah, I, I think... I think they might get a garrison. But we'll find out later. There will be much honor in defeating you. Eh, just get him. Alright, and I'm not gonna be moving these guys a whole lot. Yes, my king. So end the turn, hope for the best. And I'm actually hoping they that army up there besieges Rubar. Cause I don't wanna leave areas with little defense okay, good. As I was saying, I don't wanna leave my castles and cities with little defense. Like I'm doing with Bob Saget and move on and then have them sneak about and attack. Hopefully my extra recruitment got in on time and I can defend it. Probably not though. God. Oh, I didn't get these guys in time. I respect you in battle. There's no way I win that, right? My king. Oh, man, there's no way I get to cross in time. I, my well, let's just see about here. The honor, they son. don't get a garrison. Ooh. I'll come back to you. I, noble son. All right, and my spy is saying there's like nobody in I, here, my so. King. My king. I, son. There. Something to investigate. Uh, there it is. On my way. So Rubar, I'll be able to defend Bob Saget. I honestly don't think I will be able to do that. My king. I have two armies there, another one there. I think I have to go to Winterian with that. That'll do him today, sire. And I'm losing money. Yeah, I'm losing money. Oh, well, kind of, sort of. There will be much honor in defeating you. 
What are the odds that I can do a little bit of damage if I attack them first? Hi. Approaching to engage the enemy, sire. In an open field, though. Ah, my odds are low. Four turns. I think we're just going to take care of Sant. Uh, no. Maybe? Do I auto-resolve? Alright, I'm just going to test it out. Test out a theory. Excellent. Well, at least I know if the odds are heavily in my favor, I can auto-resolve without feeling bad. Fortunately, you can't really recruit anyone here. All right, so Karasant is mine. That is also under the control of Dorwinian. At your service. Bob Saget's probably just going to go, so Sire, let's explore fun. this area. I want to continue to go along the coast of the sea, but if I do that, then I leave all these settlements open for attack from the outside. Because, like, right here, Dorwinian does not control this area, so they can just easily go right up to Karasan and attack. Uh, I'm going to leave this army in here a few turns just to retrain everyone. Get them a little bit tougher. Yep, Rune hates me. Yep, Rune really hates me. Alright, well. End the turn. Hope for the best. Yeah, sure. Uh, blockade me. No problems with that. Uh, sure. Take it. Ooh. Moranin. Gondor kicking some butt. I, my lady. I, noble sire. And your name. Some hiding. They shall not see me, sire. Well, there's a couple armies there. Luckily, there's not a whole lot going on over here that I know of. My spy hasn't noticed anyone. So I'll take this settlement. They might besiege it. I'll defend it and then keep pushing. As for you guys. Move out. We've marched our limit. Come on, go over here. There's no way I make it in time, right? Yeah, I don't make it in time. Really? Only one person got... Okay. All right. So yeah, stay there a little while. Nothing going on there. Can't really do much over here. Hope for the best there. Maybe I should make another army. I do have a general. Ah, yeah. Sure, Dale Cavalry. They can sometimes be useful. Sometimes. Not always. Alright, so I'll make another army, send them down as well. Oh, and it's gonna crash. Why not? Uh, Fort Chal, yeah, sure. Why not? Ah, is that what these people are retraining for? Uh, let's see. Train them first because my money is getting a little low, especially with the other army being created. I guess I could get a couple more people up here. Why isn't, like, anything going on over here? I can only recruit a few people. 
27, holy moly. Why are these people even here? No one's ever going to attack them. Let me have these people. Approaching to engage the enemy, sire. We've marched our limit. Well, if I start sending people out now, though... I guess I could send them out with this army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, which is good. Link up with here. That's 20, hopefully. There's no way they survive, though. Down here, they're still getting a little bit stronger, which is fine by me. Alright, and odds are they're going to attack from like over there, so... Oh, and I can get a cog, so I can sail out and and take Sancterville. Oh, that's gonna be one of my goals for sure. Yep, Rune hates me. Sure. All right, I should actually check out what's going on over here. Make sure there's no sneaky business, but it doesn't look like it. So, and their capital is coming up. Once again, end the turn. Hope for the best. But I'm starting to make ground. Of course, if I lose Bob Saget, then... It's going to be bad news. Alright. Oh, Lord. That is massive. And I don't have much going on over here. I'm going to win this, though. I always win by a landslide. There's no way I'm going to lose this. Of course, if I do lose this, I lose King Dane, which is a heavy hit. And I lose Rubar with all my other armies just spread out, which is even a bigger hit. Who becomes king if Dane dies? I'll have to look that up. Alright, so there's you there, you there. Uh, it's Rhubar again, so I'm not going to be defending. Yeah, I'm not defending the wall. That'd be stupid. Alright, so... We'll have the same strategy as last time. Send a few groups. Uh, let's see. Send a few groups over... On each end to defend. Shoot, I lost track. Yeah, I knew they were already there. Only now that I know, like, the strategy behind it, I am not going to have my cavalry just be over here. Because then that will cause problems. So instead... Have them there as usual. I will have. Who do I want? Vault Warden. That dude and this dude as one group. Did they attack from over there last time? They did, didn't they? Because this layout is a little bit different. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, let's just double check. Make sure I'm going to be, like, going in the correct area. So you're going to be there. Maybe. You know what? I'm just going to start the battle. Make things a whole lot easier. So you go there. And. Nope, it's space, not shift. 
you go there, you go, nope, it's you, go there. All right, so there's that. And I actually want these guys to be a little bit farther out because they're probably not going to be attacked. And I want them to be in position when the time arises. All right, so you, 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 group up. Same thing over here. You there. You there. You there. Group up and then you guys will group up and just stay in the middle. And you there, I guess. And you there, I guess. All right. You gonna take that area? Sure. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, they are actually okay. Uh, does that change anything? I think that changes things. That definitely changes things. Okay. Uh, let's pause it again, cause like I said, that certainly changes things. Calvary gonna be useless, though it's totally possible that they sneak around over there. Okay, so I want you to be there. Stupid tree. There. And there instead. And as for you guys, be like... There. There and there, I guess. Because, yeah, the plan was to get them as close to the corners as possible. That way, when the first few waves of people are infantry are done, I could just sneak around to the gate and charge forward or have them come towards me. But since they're going to be coming towards me anyway, I want to stay grouped together as much as possible. No, these guys will be reserves. They'll be the other group in case they decide to come over here. Oh, excuse me. That was tasty. Not really, it was quite gross. There's for you guys. Hopefully it'll be good line of sight. Alright, let's see what they all do. Well, now I'm really glad I didn't defend the gate. Are they all going to come charging over here? I hope so. My pikes will be ready for them. Oh, come on. No, charge! Charge, you idiots! Alright. Fine, I'll push forward then. I want pikes to be smart and just keep poking them and slaughtering them at the same time that they're just going to keep shooting them and they don't have a shield and it's just going to be bad. Really? I didn't know I lost the gateway. Really? I didn't know I lost the gateway. Alright, they're sneaking about over there. So I'm going to abandon that for now just to see what's going on. Luckily, it's just 
infantry. So when they attack there, I'll be able to push back with these guys. But timing is everything. Archer's not doing what I want them to do. I need to push. It's not working out too well. Yeah, it's not working out the way I wanted it to. Oh, the pikes are all over the place. That's bad. Okay, they have lost a lot more than me by 3%, but when you consider the fact that they outnumber me like 3 to 1, it's really good. Alright, how's things over here? Come on, push. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, that's just, okay. I thought this person that was running was uh, sneaking around over here. But no, they're not. So it's good. It's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted to take this group over here to sneak around, but there's too many. I need to start pushing everyone f before I do that. Ah, oh, shoot. These guys over here are screwed. Oh, but, all right. These guys are starting to drop though. Yep, that's not good. Uh, nope, it's these guys. There they're holding. Over here, what would happen if I just snuck around? Archers on the walls would get me. I'm just not in a good place right now. Now, do I start sending in reinforcements or do I just wait? I think I send these guys to fight over there. Break this up. And then I think I'll start to push a little bit. Uh, it's this group. Where are my pikes? Yeah, my pikes are all over the place. It's not that good. But my archers are getting some good kills, I'm sure. They're all grouped in like that. Alright, have the reinforcements just push through. Hopefully this will do something. Once I see a few people start to pop up over here, I'll have them attack. Alright, I'm losing too many not to attack. Over here, they're holding. I don't know for how long though. I think I need to get these guys involved somehow. Wars. 
they're running away, but they're running towards my town square. Because that makes sense. Lost 17%. It's holding. Yeah, if I can sneak around, flank them, that'd be good. I was just going to have these guys attack over here, but why do I do that when I can free up this army right here? Or I could just not. Alright, just let them escape. So you guys... Get back over here. Oh shoot, that's the wrong army. Oh no, attack, just ignore- oh shoot. I meant to get these guys. Alright, what do I do from here? Probably send these guys out. Push them a little bit. Push them a little bit. Maybe do a couple cycle charges against them. Yeah, these guys need to get involved over there. They're moving. They're moving. They're involved. Get out of there. Ugh, some of them are in the point of no return. So group them up. Why are you so far? Uh, uh. Are things over here? Nobody suspects them. Just get a little bit closer. My army is kicking their butt over here. My only real concern is here. Now that they're distracted, let's see if we can get a couple charges in there. This is not going to work out the way I want it to, but I can try. Oh, they're coming after them. Alright, well. While their backs are turned, let's see if I can do anything against them. Here, things are still going well. I want these guys to just stay close together, not get too far. Something changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. Yeah, this one group, this one group of people. Okay, let us distract it again. Just do another charge, and they're sending more people over here. That was a great charge. Can we break them? Alright. Get out of there. Nothing stands taller than the might of the dwarf. Ooh. 
Ah, oh, shoot. They snuck up on me. I think I need to get my cavalry out of this. Maybe get them, like, right outside the gate. Yep. Otherwise, they're just gonna get slaughtered. But then there's not really much of them left. Do I even bother? They might be able to capture some people. Ah. What, you only get one horn hobble? Bobble lobble? Alright, this battle is going very poorly. Ah, oh, I knew they would have access over it. Okay, while they're distracted with the cavalry, hopefully these guys will be able to clean them up. Come on, just push through them. Just push. Oh, they're dropping with me pushing them like that. This is great. Oh, uh, we're getting there. All right. Over here, same tactic, just push. Well, you have to attack. Why are you guys just standing over there? Oh, that's bad. I'm bad feeling this group of people is just gonna die. I don't care about them, they're weak. This is going to be one of my closest battles yet. Things are going good over there. Yeah, well, so are they, almost. Yeah, they are completely surrounded. They're gonna die. The enemy okay. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. So you're saying there's a chance. Good job, gentlemen. Excellent work. Now I just need to make them all retreat. I can't really attack over here though, because there's just so many. All right, let's try to break them. All right, a few of them are getting across. All right, kill them all. Yeah, these guys are screwed. The only thing they can do now... Uh, Excuse me, is just hold them off. It's just delay them. That way they don't sneak around my main army, which is a big concern at the moment. And I need to get these guys to sneak around here. Though it might be a better idea just to have them retreat, since who knows what these guys are going to do. Half 
the enemy force remains. And they're getting their archers involved. That might be a good thing. Are they all dead? Practically. Leave whoever's left. These guys are doing a good job defending themselves at least. Oh yeah, now they're dropping. Yeah, these guys just need to run as fast as they can. Of course, they're all winded. I'm not too concerned with all these people. I just want them to make it over here. Because there's no way that this army is going to win. Well, then again... Nah, there's no way. Can't tell if the towers are attacking them or attacking me. Oh, but I've tied it up. Eh, not anymore. All right. Unfortunately, I think I have to sacrifice my archers. Because I can't spare any of these people to retreat and hold them off. Dale's the biggest and he's in the front, not Dale, Dane. Might be able to get him out of there. If they just stay there, that'd be perfect. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you win? Yeah, you won. Hundred and thirty-six. Where's the rest of you? Over there? Yep. It's not too much going on on the outside of the city, so this is all that's left, really. This is all that's left of them. Let them run. Capture them if you can, but actually, yeah, just capture them now. No, don't capture them. They're trying to push through me, so I'm going to push through them instead. Oh, the tide is turning. And same thing over here. Push. Uh, the archers are getting they're actually holding their own. And now this group is being attacked on all sides. Some of them are broken. And once one breaks, they all start breaking. Quite a few will get away, but I'm not concerned with that at the moment. Wow, the archers. Doing good work.
Oh, this is such a relief. Of course, they could all come crashing down. It's not impossible. All right, let's speed things up. Oh God! For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Oh yeah, this is great. Shut up! Shut up! Our foe has taken control of the city. Yes, I'm aware. They won't for long, though. Yeah, could we all just uh, get back to the town square, kill these guys? There. Our army, my lord, the enemy is no longer in command of the city. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, the enemy army flees the field. You can capture some of them, right? Alright, now they're getting away. Holy crap! This is a great victory, worthy of only the mightiest of Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. That was stressful. But that's another large army gone. Unfortunately, Dane's army took such a hit that he won't really be able to do anything. Oh, they're attacking me. I knew this would happen. Khan, ooh. And he's only got three people. Okay, so that's not a big deal. This, however, is a big deal. Wonder if I auto resolve what would happen. Cause this is 50-50 and I okay, you know what? Just an experiment. Just an experiment. Uh Airbore. I ignore Rivendell and Isengard. I play those on my own time. Okay. Didn't think so. I did that for two reasons. One, I don't want to fight it. I just want to auto resolve, but two, and more importantly, I've been told numerous times that the auto resolve heavily favors the dwarves no matter what, and I just wanted to test that theory out. Clearly, it didn't work all that well. Is it possible? Dang it! It's the end of the hour long special. I don't. I just wanted to toggle fog of war or see where everyone's at. I guess I'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. And I might make it just slightly longer or something. Because I, I can't fight this and toggle fog of war. And I can't get rid of this either. I could withdraw. But then they'll just attack me anyway. And I'll probably lose my... Oh, but I don't want this to be controlled by the AI. Alright, I'm, I'm retreating. All's not lost, man. Regroup. Set a watch. We come here. Yeah, I'm gonna retreat that one too. Ooh, they're on a bridge. Does that mean I get a bridge battle? Oh, please don't be Erebor. Okay, good. Alright, well. Whoop. That is a bridge. This one actually. Well, this is the better of the two armies, so I think I. Next episode, I'm gonna have Torcus attack and have a bridge battle and then can I, I, waste words on you. can I sneak around Honor, I can but I can't really get there in time all right uh, let's start over here and toggle fog of war all right let's see how things are going doesn't look like a whole lot has changed arid Lewin still controls the north and I'm gonna be bribing or buying Shadoon and Karn Doom at some point. Not sure when, and these armies are just kind of chilling while Gimli over here is kind of trapped. 
to the south, we have the Dunedain, who have controlled the eastern part of Eriador, and again, not doing much. Rivendell slash Imladris control Enanet Arad and Imladris, not doing too much. Breland have controlled like the middle and southern region of Eriador, so good for them. And Linden doing absolutely nothing. Now this is where things get interesting because Khazad Doom have everything south of Zag Kela as far as the Misty Mountains are concerned. They have taken and destroyed Dunland. Holy moly, what is going on over here? They must be heavily in debt. Are they at war? I wonder. Uh, my allies with Khazad Doom does not look like it. Alright, so Khazad Doom. They're only enemies with Enedwaith and they're allies with Breland, so they're never going to attack each other. Well, that's interesting that they decide to leave a large army over there. Good thing I'm never going to be attacking them because that would be bad news for us. But they are taking southern regions, going south. I'm also curious now, are they allies with Gondor? Gondor... They are not, so it's totally possible that khazad and Gondor are going to be fighting at some point since they now border each other. But they have been taking the fight, they destroyed Dunland. They have been assisting in the destruction of the Enedwaith. Speaking of Enedwaith, only, they only control Karas, which they've upgraded into a town. Huh, good for them, I've never been able to do that. But their days are numbered. Of course, I said that last time, but... Even more so now. And Rohan expanding over here. They destroyed Isengard. It is really up to them to take Karas because if they don't, they might be butting heads with Khazadum. But they might be allies. I'm not going to check again. Of course, they have taken all of Rohan and are moving northward and eastward. Eastwood. Ward. God dang it. Whole lot of stuff going over here, and they're currently beseeching Dol Guldur. Ooh. That'll be very interesting to see, but Rohan is definitely one of the superpowers of Middle-earth. We go north to the Vale of Anduin. No, Anduin? No. Yes. This is the Anduin. Not much has changed with them. They control their starting regions a little bit into Mirkwood. Speaking of Mirkwood... Uh, uh, excuse me. Thranduil has Northern Mirkwood, hasn't really made any attempts for anything else, whereas Dale controlled those regions and the southern regions of Mirkwood, as long as well as Berg Alg, Berg Alg, whatever, which is currently being besieged by the Easterlings, so that's something to consider. Though I don't want to cheat, so I'm not going to pay attention, but Dorwinian, all they have is Rawberg. And there he might be besieged by uh, Rune coming up pretty soon. Hopefully they don't die. Go to the south. Dol Guldur's last settlement is Dorthalu. Their days are also numbered. But with the Easterlings making an attempt to go west, Dorthalu might survive the onslaught of Rohan and Dale. Only time will tell. Go south. Moranin has been lost to Gondor. In fact, Durthang also being besieged. Mordor is not really doing too hot. They slowly losing region after region. And speaking of this area, Gondor. Gondor is making a push, though they did just lose Ostathil. I have no clue how. They just took Tirithraid. But we'll see how well they do. I think they're going to be doing quite well for themselves. Can doing what Can does, taking a bunch of places, trying to push north. They took Ossethil, but I don't think they'll be holding it for very much longer. Harad. Harad is losing place after place. I don't think they'll be losing these three settlements anytime soon. And they did lose Finabel to Mordor. Well, probably lost it to uh, Dol Amroth, and then Mordor took it in the the invasion. Umbar has the ring, but of course they haven't done anything else. And last but not least, Dol Amroth 
controls Dole Amroth except for Lin here, which they have lost, and Gondor has taken it, but they are taking the southern regions of the world. And they're doing quite well for themselves. And then, of course, you have me. I'm not doing too much. So, well, that's not what I want. That is all for Toggle Fog of War. Join me again in the next episode. Oh, wait. Let me uh, do that first. There. Oh, wait. I also have to... All right. I'll do the last minute stuff in the next episode. But join me in the next one where we have a bridge battle. Hopefully, I'm pretty confident in my bridge battle tactics. And continue to push south. Technically, southeast. Yeah. But until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one.